Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 3DS Wear Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Steam World Dig, A Fistful of Dirt, which we've never played it before. It's um, one of the better eShop games to come out in a long time, to be fair. I really do like it because I like a lot of the games that it kind of takes inspiration from. Uh, if you've ever played I Dig It on the iPod, or I think there's one called some, something like Motherboard, or which the sequel, Super Motherboard, is coming out for the PS4, where basically you dig, and you mine materials, and you go back up to the surface to upgrade yourself and that. And it's basically one of those st styles of games, but this has actually got a proper story to it, and it's also a bit like a Metroidvania, because you're constantly finding new abilities to then dig new areas, to then get to the end goal of beating the game. Um, there's basically characters that will, well, they'll like tell you bits and bobs of story and they'll tell you where to go next and what to do. Uh, whenever you fill your screen up with uh, materials, then basically you come to her, she'll turn it into cash, you'll go to him, you can then go into your store and buy either health to basically restock your health, which the meat is up there. You can buy bigger pouches to hold more things, you can buy items that'll help you get out of tight jams and that, you can buy lamps, which uh, you can put down to make it easier to see, you can buy armour upgrades and tank upgrades for your water, because it, it is one of those games that you will constantly get upgrades, I mean you'll go from having a regular the old pick ass, pick axe even, you can tell which uh, graphic novels I've been reading recently because uh, that was uh, clearly me messing up and saying kick ass but pick ass instead so you start with a regular old pick axe and then you can upgrade and get yourself a drill which means you can dig through different types of dirt then you can get yourself a, a, a like water tank as I say and you can use that to do yourself a power jump uh, there's just all sorts of different abilities that you go through You've got an absolutely massive map on the bottom and it tells you useful bits of information like that times two means I've got to have a certain upgrade up to times two, like I've got to have the, the second upgrade to the third upgrade etc. Um, and it's just one of those things, it is mainly a huge game about exploring, digging new paths, getting to new areas, getting new equipment uh, which gets you more treasure which allows you to buy more equipment until you get to the end of the game which uh, I'm not going to spoil anything but the, the story's okay, it, it's good enough from A to B that's certainly for sure. There are three huge areas in the game to explore overall in the caves and uh, whenever you come back to the top because you can build yourself teleporters and that for quick access back which is quite nice then it automatically saves so even if you've just went down into the caves and done something minuscule and you want to save you just need to do that flip it'll save and then done um you can as you might have guessed by the energy meter get destroyed and it is very much a uh, way of uh, boulder dash type ways that you can get destroyed because as well as loads of enemies around which you can kill and attack with your pickaxe and things like that you can also well be stupid at times and you can dig through and dig through and the next thing you know there's actually something falling on top of you crushing it it's costing you half of your money to respawn so you've got to go through a load more crap and dirt and soil and that in order to get enough uh, equipment back and enough funds back to be able to buy the upgrade that you were trying to get as well as mining for like ores and minerals and just stupid daft things there's also little blue spheres that you'll find and that's what they are up there and they're also then used to get upgrades you need to have a combination of cash and them in order to actually buy the upgrade and this is basically what I mean, that anyone who's played something like I Digger on the iPod or anyone who's played uh, that Motherboard or Motherload or whatever the hell it's actually called, I'll have to find out because I do actually want to buy it now that I've discovered about it. I literally found out about it from the Gamescom announcement that the sequel is coming to the PS4. So I now need to actually look into the game. But anyone who's played that and anyone who's played a sort of a Metroidvania or any other sorts of games... It's just one of those things that you'll hopefully fall in love with it straight away and find it incredibly compelling and addictive because it is that sort of title. It's It really is something that you can lose yourself in for five minutes and then realise that five minutes quickly became an hour. Uh, it's just so engrossing. You, there's just something about the, I'll just go a little further. I'll just go, oh, I've just found a new mineral. Oh, I can buy a new upgrade. Well, I'll just see what's behind there then, because now that I've got the new upgrade, I can get there better. Uh, it's very, very engrossing, and it really is one of the best eShop titles to come out in a long time. It is well worth the high asking price, because I believe it cost me about £8, but the amount of time I've got out of it, I really cannot complain, and I don't think many will complain. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about the title. It is well worth a look if you're into these sorts of games because I think it is one of the better ones to come out in a long time. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.